Hello friend. Let's see today in this video how to repair low sound errors in a Philips CD Hi-Fi setup. First of all, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you. Let's watch the video. The customer brought this hi-fi setup to our company saying that there is no sound and when the volume level is increased to the maximum, a very low sound is heard. I checked this. His complaint is correct here FM channel and CD player work well. But the sound does not come. When I set the volume control to about 100, a very small sound was heard. When the cover is removed for repair, we can see the circuits here. I will mention them. First of all, here the side PCB in Micon and preamplifier control circuit is located like this. This circuit plays a very important part in this. CD player, cassette player, FM tuner, AUX in. All of these separately and increasing their signal and the low noise signal coming from them to the main amplifier. And they control all the voltage they need and control them according to the outputs we choose. From this image, we can see the front panel control board, the main control side circuit that I explained earlier, and the main power supply circuit, as well as the FM tuner circuit and the main amplifier circuit below it. First of all, I have directed my attention to the main side circuit. Here's how I found out step by step where this error is hidden. I checked this preamplifier part of the side circuit. First, I checked the data of the important part, TDA7468DIC. The TDA7468D is an integrated circuit, IC primarily designed for audio signal processing in automotive applications. It is commonly used in hi-fi audio systems to control and manipulate audio signals for various purposes such as equalization, tone control, volume adjustment, and balance control. Here's a short explanation of the TDA7468D and how it works. Purpose the TDA7468D is specifically designed to enhance the audio quality and customize the audio output in car audio systems. It offers a range of audio processing functions in a single chip, making it convenient for audio system designers. Tone Control Users can control the balance between bass and treble frequencies to achieve the desired sound characteristics. This feature allows you to adjust the balance between bass and treble frequencies in the audio signal. It can help you fine-tune the tonal characteristics of the audio output. Volume Control It enables volume adjustment to increase or decrease the audio output level. The IC includes volume control capabilities, which enable you to increase or decrease the audio output level. This is especially useful for adjusting the volume to suit different listening environments or personal preferences. Equalization It provides equalization functions to adjust the frequency response of the audio signal, allowing for fine-tuning of bass, mid-range, and treble frequencies. Balance Control You can control the balance of audio signals between left and right channels. Now let's see how it works. Input stage. The IC typically receives an audio signal from a source such as a radio, aux, cassette or CD player. This input signal is then processed by the IC. Output stage. After processing the audio signal as per your settings, the TDA7468D sends the modified signal to the main amplifier and speakers for playback. In summary, the TDA7468D is an audio source IC designed for automotive applications, offering various audio processing functions to customize and enhance the sound quality in hi-fi audio system. 
It allows you to adjust equalization, tone, volume, and balance to achieve the desired audio output. First, I measured all the voltages supplied by this IC. They are all in good condition. After that, I tuned the FM radio here and increased the output volume level a bit and checked the data of this IC and got the signal from the two audio input signal points related to the IC and gave it to another power amplifier. Then a very good sound was heard. That is, there is no problem with the audio in signal supplied to the IC. Later. When I got the signal from the audio L, R out, put point of the IC in the same way and checked, only a very small sound was emitted. That is, a clear inference could be made that the low sound error in this setup is in this TDA7468D IC. I removed the concerned IC and decided to replace it with another one. Now you see the new IC from my IC store. Then I installed it like this. The good news is that the repair is successful, the sound is coming back very well. Watch the video with sound. That is, this error was hidden in the TDA7468DIC. Thanks for watching this video. Stay subscribed to the channel to watch more different types of repair videos.